for Chrissy, you accept that from a grown man or woman? <laughs> like, you selling for anything now. Like, you just hard down oh, trying to make the word just, come on. But this goes to show that money cannot buy happiness in a relationship, okay? It can't buy happiness and it can't buy a person. You know, I mean, it can if you're a fucking gold digger, but eventually you probably going to get on your feet as a gold digger, take the money and run, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And be happy with somebody else who you're actually happy with. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back to another mother freaking video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now, right now. But I'd rather just right. <laughs> Let's not go too soon now And a lot of girls hit it mine now I would rather pass that blunt to you Like we used to do And today, baby, y'all already know what the fuck going on in this goddamn video right here As y'all can tell what we gonna be talking about today, okay? Chrissy she get married, okay? Did she just get engaged too? You feel me? It's a little early, but you know how us lesbians work, okay? You all lesbians for a reason, okay? We move in quick, we move in fast, our emotions grow fast, we get married fast, and we get divorced even faster, okay? I'm just playing about that last part, but maybe I'm not. If y'all have not watched it yet, Damo moved to LA with baby Damo, okay? So this is gonna be a crazy experience here, like going back and forth, how is, is the routine gonna be different now? Is Baby Damo's schedule gonna be different? Parenting or co-parenting schedule? Like I know Arizona and Cali are not that far apart, but I think they're some hours apart. I'm not quite sure. Leave a comment down below and let me know how far they are apart. But isn't that gonna be a little, you know, I don't know how that's gonna work. Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel that's gonna work. But, you know, there's some separation there and, huh, you know what I'm saying, that can't be good. A lot of you guys dm me and requested that I do this video right here, react to this video. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I know a lot of you guys say that he's annoying, but hey, it is what it is. A lot of you guys also requested that I do the motherfucking video. So I got to do popular majority rules. You feel me? I love you guys so freaking much. Everybody who has been showing me so much love, so much support. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, no matter what content I put out, you guys are in my corner. Y'all fully support me and that means more than anything to me i appreciate you guys so much we going up 40k definitely by the end of the year i'm claiming it we already almost at 32k thanks to you guys i appreciate y'all so freaking much i'm saying 40k but we'll probably end up with a little more like a little extra change 41 42 something like that that's what i'm saying but 40k is definitely going to happen before the end of the new year i love you guys so much it could not happen without each and every one of you guys so i want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart genuinely i appreciate you guys so fucking much so without a further ado let's get into this motherfucking video subscribe to my youtube channel like this video make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video let me know in the comments down below that you are Nodi gang I love y'all so much and make sure that you DM me at DZ Studology 101 and let me know what I should react to next tell a friend to tell a friend to tell ain't your mama tell Uncle Joe that he's a hoe let's get right into this motherfucking video yo now man shall see Domo she changed you know what I'm saying like she changed for the better though you know what I'm saying she, she getting a lot of opportunities in LA as y'all see she moved to LA so I will say that Damo is always going to get good opportunity. She's always going to be in a good position because I feel like she's just such a positive person. I feel like she just has such a positive light about her. Something about her, her character, her personality. She just exudes um um Ooh, I don't know what I don't know what the word is, but she just has a good vibe about her. You know, she has a great energy to her. That's why I've always fucked with Damo because even in the videos when she is the more emotional Damo, I've seen videos where she has breakdowns on camera. She just still seems to hold on to that authenticity of being who she truly is and still having that aura around her that is inviting shall i say you know you know how when some people get emotional you know it's just bad energy toxic energy and shit i just feel like even in her hard times she still has such a dope presence you know leave me a comment down below if you agree if you don't agree that's cool too leave me a comment down below and let me know so 
we're gonna jump straight to it. She, long story short, man, she taking dumb, uh, dumb Nick with him. Well, with her. Whatever she want to label herself as. <laughs> this nigga dumb as hell. You know goddamn well Damo is Dominiqua. She been showing out lately, okay? She been having the heels on, the motherfucking skirts. She been dropping it low one time for the one time. She been showing her little skin, you know what I'm saying? That's Dominiqua right now. So, hey, put some respect on her motherfucking name, you feel me? So, she taking the baby with her. Like, to be real with y'all... Dominique is mainly dumb old baby, you know what I'm saying? Because he came out of her. It ain't, he ain't come out of Chrissy, you see what I'm saying? So y'all gotta hear me out, you know what I'm saying? Cause I just Okay, but just like, okay, I'm not even gonna go there. We're not gonna have that motherfucking debate right now, but I disagree. I feel like that is just as much Chrissy's son as it is Damo's. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about that situation. Yes, Chrissy could come to the point where she doesn't want anything to do with Baby Damo. I doubt that happens, but even in the event that it does, how many niggas walk out on their fucking kid's life to go play stepdaddy to somebody else's kids? You know what I'm saying? So it happens all the time. I don't care if you're male, female. You don't have a vagina to push out your baby. Yes, it might be your sperm. Yes, you probably had something to do with that, but you didn't personally push out the goddamn baby either. So I think it's unfair for you to say that, but you have your opinion. That's how you feel. It is what it is. Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all feel like Damo is more of a mother than Chrissy or do y'all feel like they share that equally because they basically made the decision to do this together and that they were both going to be Damo, baby Damo's mother? Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel. I thought about this today. Like, he actually belongs to Damo. So she got the last say so. So now i will say on a legal from a legal standpoint if chrissy did not go through the paperwork to make sure that she was considered a legal mother too then the situation could get a little tricky legally it would be damo's kid you know what i'm saying it wouldn't be chrissy's kid and if damo wanted to take the baby out of chrissy's life she would have the right to do so if that makes sense i don't think damo would do that but chrissy has been pushing her buttons lately and you know that idea is no longer so far fetched. Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about this. We're gonna put this. We're gonna leave it right there and let, let it marinate in y'all head. So, um, Dumbo went to Twitter like she always do. Oh, she just, shit. you know what I'm saying? Letting her fan know what's going on, what's gonna happen. All right. So Damo says. Like I keep telling y'all, I still got my place in Arizona and I'm keeping it as well. Okay, I didn't know that. I did not know that she still had her place in Arizona. Okay. I know a lot of you are happy but have questions about my move. Just know that I have so many opportunities and I'm on the road to better, better my life for my son and I. Can't nothing hold me back. You're right. So I bounced and did what my manager advised a long time ago and that was moved to LA. Dope. Cool. The only thing I have to say, a word of advice to Damo is please don't let LA change you. Because niggas get to LA and they just start switching up. They start acting different. They start selling their souls. They start getting around the wrong crowd, the wrong people. And they are no longer the person that they were before they moved to LA. So my only advice for you, Damo, is don't change, okay? Tunes and all that. And she was like, oh, I know a lot of y'all are happy, but I have a question. Um... Uh, but I have questions about my move. Hold on, I, I, wait, let me get it right. So many did that, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, you managed your advice a long time ago. Damo, I'm proud of you, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, now you make a big move. Anytime you move to LA, them big ass steps, you see what I'm saying? Cause that shit is expensive. Let me also say that when you're in a relationship, I feel like y'all, I say this all the, time, all the time, you guys should be building together, making decisions together, absolutely. And I feel like compromise should be there as well. But I also feel like you do have to keep some type of selfishness about yourself as well. There's some things and like some things like core beliefs and core standards for yourself, I believe you should put first. You have to put yourself first in any case. You know, when you start putting other people before you, yeah, it sounds like, oh yeah, I'm such a great person for putting other people before me. But how can you take care of them other people without putting yourself first? You know, you can't. What do they tell you on a plane, guys? If anything happens, if you're low on oxygen or if somebody else is low on oxygen, you have to mask yourself first and then you mask that person. Because how can you help someone else if you are not helping yourself first? 
So I just want to let Damo know too, I am proud of her as well. I'm glad that these opportunities are opening up for you. When one door closes, a million of them open. Not just one, but a million of them open, okay? Because a lot of the times you hold on to things and you cling to things that you should have let go a long time ago, but since you wouldn't let go of them, new opportunities could not flood into your experience. So now you're just fucking over yourself, you feel me? Once again, for other people, okay? So, let's move on. Now, not only that, man, it give your, your, your son a better... A better, um, how I want to put it, a better lifestyle, just put it like that. So, um, I mean, you don't necessarily this know. This turn around that. said, like, I keep telling y'all, I still got my place in Arizona. I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it as well. Okay, cool. You know what's big baller, okay? So, you balling, balling. You got two okay, places, you know what I'm one in LA, you know what I'm right, saying? One right. back in Arizona, shit. Yeah, you doing good. Trying to get I like mean, you, Damo. You know what I'm saying? You think I you know what I'm saying? Sleep over. You right, know, right. Like, let, let me just take one of the rooms. You know what I'm saying? Or half the room. You know, whatever. You go to LA, you know, let them, let them bar the house. Uh, we ain't say, Seven Nation ain't gonna tell that bitch up. Now. <laughs> Come on now. Then she was like, um, she turned around and said, Dominique will always be. Dominique will always be good. I don't mean no disrespect. My babies. But where I go, he goes. Absolutely. Period. That's my rock. No one coming in between me and my son ever. Most death. Not even Chrissy. Um, somebody said, yeah, that's understandable, but Chrissy always been there since birth, since before birth. Don't try and take the one person she loves the most away from her. I believe she loves him just as much as you do. We just gonna see, you know, like it's too early to tell whether or not Damo is actually taking her son out of Chrissy's life. But like I said, that was the first thing that I thought of when i saw the vlog damo wilson is moving back uh moving to la with baby dominic you know what i'm saying so that would be my only thing how is this co this co-parenting schedule going to work now is baby damo going to be able to have any time with chrissy is the time going to be shorter is the time going to be longer but y'all have more time apart how is this going to work you know because i know damo she is a protector she's going to be there for baby damo and with them being so far apart, I wonder if Damo would trust baby Damo being around Chrissy and the new boo. You know, y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know how y'all feel about this situation. Because this motherfucker could get a little bit sticky. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me write. Okay. So then she turned around and said, Dominique, Dominique will always be good. I don't mean no disrespect. My babies, my, my babies, but where I go, he goes. You know what I'm saying? So... And um, basically, she responded to another fan, and he was, she was like, "Yeah, that's understandable." But Chris all put the most away from her. I believe she loved him just as much as you do. So, like I said, by righteous, Dominique belongs to Dumbo. Dumbo went through all that stuff. Chris didn't. Chris out holding somewhere. So, missing <laughs> that shit. So, uh, <laughs> Dumbo was like. You no, know, she had she had a clap back. She was like, "Whoa!" You know what I'm saying? I think they say, "Whoa!" Whoa! Oh, okay, shit. Yeah, that's okay. So I ain't know she clapped back. She clapped back and she said, "Whoa!" Did you stretch before you made that reach? Damn, taking Dominic, girl, she is living. I'm not about to sit my ass at home raising Dominic, stopping my drink for sure, for sure. I know that's right. If she want to see him, she knows where I'm at. Ooh, shit. The door is open. It's her choice to walk through that motherfucker. Anyways, he's happy. Damn. Ooh wee. Damo is not taking taking no more motherfucking shit from Chrissy Danielle or Miss Mila J. Okay, this shit is crazy. All right. She checked the fuck out of her ass. Okay. Damo said, "I don't give no fucks." She knows where the fuck I am. You can come at any time. You want to see your motherfucking son? You know where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Pull the fuck up. You feel me? I feel you, Damo. That's right. Stand up for your motherfucking self. Shit. Ooh, well, how you look, bro? I, look, I don't taste like this. My ass said, "Hell no, nah. Chrissy. If she getting money, she need to take her ass somewhere else and go and, and see Dominique. Whatever she, whatever she move. Point my period. So she was like, um, if you want to see him." She knows where I'm at. The door is open. It's her choice to walk through the motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Anyways, he's happy. You see him so? Yeah, that's crazy. And let me also say, Baby Damo is always motherfucking happy. That nigga always smiling, laughing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the baby's fine. That's all I care about at the end of the day. Whether Chrissy's in his life or not, as long as the baby's happy, that's all I care about. I'm realizing that 
Dumbo, she ain't playing no game on Chris she right now. She ain't playing no fucking game. She ain't taking no bullshit on Chris right mm -hmm. now. Like, Chris, she might do, she might love Dumbo, but she don't love Dumbo like Dumbo love Dumbo. You know what I'm saying? Because Dumbo came out of her. So, I think if Dumbo, where Dumbo want to take Dumbo somewhere, man, these names are crazy. But if she want <laughs> You got to say Baby Dumbo, you know what Baby saying? somewhere, then Chris just going to have to get up off her ass and do something. Go see your son. Yeah, true. You see what I'm saying? There was Chrissy. All the fucking t-shirt sales from your selfie merchandise and your uh, leave me alone t-shirts and shit. Take that money and go see your son, okay? What you gonna have to do? <laughs> Since you out here living your best life with you. That was petty. I'm sorry, Chrissy, but go see your son for real. <laughs> you and your damn man friend, whatever that thing, whatever she is. Since you doing all that, then you gonna have to get get your ass up from Arizona and take your ass to LA when you wanna keep dumb knee. And they're gonna be expensive because y'all spit y'all get him three and a half days of That's what I'm saying. So it's gonna means, be different. No. It ain't gonna happen. Dumbo doing damn good. She got opportunities. I, 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 after I, shit. After opportunities. Man, I'm tongue tied in a bit. I need to go to sleep tonight. But Chris, I don't know about you. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you got the YouTube channel got a little something going on, but <laughs> after taking all them damn trips back and forth to LA, your ass might want to budget a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you now. Or you might want to put Miss Mila J on the motherfucking channel a little bit more. That's all I'm saying. I see you got damn finna get married too now. We ain't gonna speak on that. Did anybody see this Chrissy post? I love my ring. Now that looks more like a promise ring. It doesn't look like an engagement ring. I don't see a rock anywhere, but you know what I'm saying? It's cute. It's a cute little promise ring or whatever, but aren't we a little too soon for this? I don't know. I can't say that because a lot of us lesbians, we move fast. We move at the speed of motherfucking light, road running speed, fast ahead. You feel me? A lot of us do, you know, maybe we should pump the brakes and find out who somebody is first before we motherfucking go there. You feel me? But anyway, I see you got a ring. What that, what that about? You know what I'm saying? I get, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Mita finna put a ring on that, but she put a ring on that thing. I guess she been going wife you up, you know what I'm saying? Cause I guess it's a thought that count, you know what I'm saying? She, it's a thought count, goddamn hell. She got a little ass brain, cause she, she must want thing when she bought that bitch. I ain't gonna lie to you, my nigga. <laughs> That's why I say that ain't no engagement ring. That's a motherfucking promise ring, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie to you, cause that bitch small like God, like mouth. My wedding ring got more that. My Actually, when we speaking about it, that ring look a little bit better than the one Clarence got for Queen. <laughs> no shade, but shade. Hey, well, my wedding <laughs> ring is bigger than her damn <laughs> ring. Like, come on, bro. Like, oh, shit. shit, where you get that bitch from? Did y'all even see the damn ring? Like, I don't lie. It's a high ring for a little ass girl, you know, like for my daughter or something. But for Chrissy, you accept that from a grown Man or woman, <laughs> like <laughs> you selling for anything now. Like you just hard down, oh, trying to make the word just come on. But this goes to show that money cannot buy happiness in a relationship. Okay, it can't buy happiness, and it can't buy a person. You know, I mean, it can if you're a fucking gold digger. But eventually, you probably gonna get on your feet as a gold digger, take the money and run, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And be happy with somebody else who you're actually happy with. So this just goes to show that the love just wasn't there anymore. She didn't feel the same way about Damo no more. It probably was a difficult process because they were together for some time. They had built so much together. They had invested so much together that it was probably tough for them to split. But when she did and she knew the decision she had to make, she knew she couldn't continue on being unhappy and she probably didn't want to cheat. I don't know if she cheated or not, but I'm glad that the relationship ended now and not later on. And then a scandal happened like a Chris Sale situation to where Chrissy cheated on her and it was just a whole big ordeal, you know, and come to find out Chrissy wasn't even attracted anymore, you know, years down the line. So shout out to Chrissy. We do have to give her a hand clap. You know, I don't like to be biased. Yeah, I like to throw shade sometimes. I like to be petty sometimes, but I do feel like it is a mature thing for her to at least communicate with Damo. Let her know, hey, I'm not happy in this. I want to move around. No matter what we saw and what we didn't see, I'm sure there's a lot of shit we didn't see off camera. So we got to give her the benefit of the doubt and say, hey, at least she did the least that she could do. 
said that she didn't want to be with Damo no more and she moved on with her fucking life. So, hey, you know what I'm saying? We got to owe her that. And I'm glad Damo is finally moving on with her as well. I wish them both peace, love, prosperity, and abundance in the future. You feel me? No, hell no. We ain't going for that. So you telling me that little had three, cap well, three diamond ring be the best thing you ever had and you loved it? I don't like y'all say me where but the thought count. The thoughts count. My memory card is about to end, so I will be right back. Hold on. All right, we back, y'all. Damn. This the first thing I seen uh Mila do the first time I seen Mila do something. You see what I'm saying? Like, she don't do much. Like I said, she she paired a platypus. She don't do much. She only been dating her for what, a couple months maybe? I'm not gonna do a lot for a chick in the first couple months. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I don't mind doing things for women. But I just feel like you got to earn that shit. You got to be worth that shit. And time has to be invested, you know? Because I'm not about to waste time or money on a female who I don't see longevity with, you know? And so you, I just got to figure that person out. I got to actually know who you are as a person before I invest any money into your motherfucking ass, okay? If anything, take me out. Then when she do do something, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like she bought the shit off the street just to be real with you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't hating on that, but we all think that... Mila, Mila could have did better with the ring, you see what I'm saying, because... As she could have done better if that was, if she knew that was going to be her wife, for sure, for sure. Like, maybe a year, two years, five years down the line, maybe she'll get the rock that she deserved. But right now, that's the rock that Chrissy deserved. I mean, it ain't got no rock, but it, that, that's the ring Chrissy deserves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the ring Chrissy deserves at this moment, you know? I'm not going to go fucking... I'm not gonna go get a big motherfucking rock for a bitch I only been with for a couple of months. That's just not me. You feel me? It is what it is. Y'all see, she got it on this finger. You know what I'm saying? Out of all fingers, she got it on this finger. So the my ladies thing gonna is do that. that. The ladies I feel gonna like do Christian, that anymore. You, you still, you still trying to nitpick every damn thing. Every time that girl do something, middle do something out of ordinary, you got down had to post it. You know what I'm saying? Because you know somebody gonna send a dumb one. I mean, I'ma also say this: we can't say that Chrissy is just doing all of this, showing off her ring. She's doing what a normal human being would do though. Like, nobody talks shit about Jennifer up the street who just got engaged and showing off her ring on Snapchat or Instagram. Nobody wants to talk shit about her, you know? But the moment Chrissy shows her fucking ring, now she's just doing it to get under Damo's skin. No, guys, I feel like we should leave that where it's at, okay? Unless we see some petty shit, some blatantly petty shit, like she does all the time, okay? I'm not saying she don't do that shit. We have to allow her to be a regular human being at some point, guys. I mean, just because she's showing her ring off doesn't mean that she just wants to shove it in everybody's fucking face, you know? I mean, literally she is, but everybody else does too. So, Chrissy is just being human. That's how I feel. Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you feel about that. Like, you, you know exactly what's going on. You see, you ain't stupid now. Come on now, we ain't stupid. We know exactly what you're doing. Like, you ain't really just had to post it if y'all ain't finna get married. Because I'm pretty sure Dumbo just sitting at home laughing at the damn ring because it's small as hell. But it doesn't matter what you think. That's the whole thing about it. It doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what the world thinks, okay? Chrissy is just trying to live her fucking life, okay? And unfortunately, everybody's keeping up with her fucking life due to the circumstances that have transpired. However, Chrissy still has to move on with her life and be who she is. And she shouldn't have to hide certain aspects of her life or be like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't post this picture because what will they think? Everybody is caring too much about other people's opinions. Fuck everybody's opinion. Do you be you. As long as you're being yourself, it shouldn't fucking matter. Yeah, let's see if he says anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, I seen this shit. I'm like, okay, um, uh, goddamn, like, where, where the rest, that, that must be the, the band <laughs> or something. This nigga said, where the rest is. Like, when, when, you, when you buy a woman a ring, they get the, the big ass part and they get the little, the little, this part here that go behind the ring, make it look bigger. You know what I'm saying? So, um, she might be missing a piece of something. What y'all think, first of all, cause I could be tripping, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. I could be tripping. But at the same time, hell no, nah, man, man bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. That nigga's stupid. Something ain't right by Chris and, 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 and Mila. I don't believe that happened. 
I'm just, I'm all, I believe they're doing this shit for social media. Like, they gotta be doing this shit because it's crypto time, you know? Okay, this nigga here. All right, so obviously, you know, he, I don't think he be all the way serious with what he says. I think he's just trying to be entertaining, which is cool. I already said what I had to say, guys. I already said my commentary. Y'all leave me some commentary in the comments down below and let me know exactly how y'all feel about this whole situation. Like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure that you comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinions. Hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. Make sure that you DM me at DZ Studology 101. Let me know what I should react to next. And make sure that you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell they ain't your mom and tell they uncle Joe that he's a hoe. And I will see y'all in tomorrow's motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. And we out. I know I was wrong. I can't believe that we done. I know you miss